<laughs> I've just got all set up and like as usual it all happens all at once that is a very angry but a very nice sized mangrove snapper and at the same time as that one of the big rods has just started going as well that that's a keeper sized mangrove They are just covered in spines and teeth. If you can see those gnashes in there. Yeah. Calm down. I'm just using up some of the big chub that I caught on the that I caught on the bridge earlier on. I've got two dead strip baits out. One of them's just run off at the same time I was landing that snapper. So hopefully that means that I found some fish. I'll try and get myself all sorted out. It always happens when you're not prepared, doesn't it? The rig that I caught the mangrove snapper on is just a very simple sliding ledger rig with a two-foot fluoro trace ending in a 2-0 crabber hook with a bit of prawn. No flying pelican. And I casted it out to distance, like almost to the grass that you can see on the other side because I'm fishing into and over like a channel. I've got my big baits in the channel and this I've put to the other side. The issue that I've got today is because there's wind blowing in my face and it's been blowing for a couple of days there's an awful lot of weed running around so I'm trying to keep the rug tips as high as possible not to pick up the weed because the weed is moving right to left but yeah typical that that snapper went the little rod went and it, it like nearly knocked all three rods over yep. This shows you how much weed's out there. But hiding beneath it all is another little mangrove snapper. Got a nice bite on one of the bigger rods. Get this put back. Oh, and of course, he splashed the lens. Yeah, I'm trying to catch a little grunt to use as a live bait. But you can't use, can't use snappers as live baits because they're subject to a minimum landing size. So I'm after something like a white grunt or a blue striped grunt or, or pinfish maybe. Let's get this lens cleaned off. <laughs> well that's been sharked. Right, now these sharks are wick, they are <laughs> just wick for biting you, you see them little teeth in there, yeah, look he's had a hook in him, see that side of his mouth, he's had a hook in him before, I can't see any hooks inside of his gullet, so I'm just going to t-bar him straight off.
there we go. Part of all of this is just the anticipation. Because there could literally, there could be 15 different species of shark. There could be fish that are over 100 pounds that I can't even see because the water's real murky and it could only be 10 feet in front of me. me two proper like whack whack the only problem with fishing with prawn you don't hook it up on the first bite it's usually bait gone yeah that was a full prawn Oh, it's a nurse shark, and a big one. I'm just gonna try and land it up the beach. Shows you how big it is. This is the nurse shark that I've just caught. There, look. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna really quickly get a length and girth measurement and I'm gonna put a tag in him and release him. Tag number 411630. Length 48 and a half inches long and the girth 19 inches Tag and release No shark, Martin I'm really happy with that. I was just having a conversation with some of the people living in the house over there and I was saying, yeah, I've caught quite a few fish on this mark, but I got smoked by some on the first night. I'll put a little clip into here now. I'm not quite sure what this is, but I'm expecting it's going to be a shark. I, I, everything else that I've caught since then hasn't really put up a fight, it hasn't pulled any drag off and it's all been like sub 10 pound that one there wasn't, that one there was more like like 30 odd pound um, a nice nurse shark I would have said it was, that one's the perfect size for me to be able to pick up and, and hold for a photo anything bigger than that and it, it's a bit of a handful I have caught them a little bit bigger than that from the bridges but yeah that was great and it was also great that I was able to um, to measure it and to put a tag in it now I've got some tags from Noah I'll put a little link in the description here we know what Noah does but I caught a shark, a blue shark in the UK I had a Noah tag in it and I recorded the number off it and when I sent it back to them they could track when it was caught and how far it had come between being caught by the tagger and being caught by me so I said to them I said well I do a bit of shark fishing 
can I have some tags? So they sent me half a dozen tags. I've tagged a couple of sharks in the UK and I brought my tags with me here. And I was wanting something above like £15 a bit, I put a tag into. So I've now tagged a nurse shark in the Florida Key. If anybody ever catches that, if anybody ever recatches it, and then records the number and then contacts Noah, Noah will then contact me to say your shark has been recaught somewhere else. Yeah, the majority of the sharks that I've been catching all over the place from the boat, from the shore, from everywhere around here have all been like this big and I'm wondering whether or not they're like nursery areas whether or not all the inshore areas all the shallow water, all the warm water like this is just full of little because we were out on a charter today and we had a load of little bonnet head shark come up in the slick and I'm not joking, they were about 3 or 4 pound just big enough to bite the jig heads off but I haven't seen anything. I haven't seen anything while we've been out fishing that's been above like 20 pound. We did see some absolutely monster nurse sharks. Uh, we, went, we went for some food at the, um, I think it's called the Island Fish Company. It's near where we had a charter. And they must wait down there for the charter boats to come in to like chuck all the carcasses in after they've been filleting. Because there was three or four of them down there and they were like 80 or 100 pound. You must obviously just sit there lazy waiting for the scraps. Yeah, I've got three or four little bit more... <laughs> the heat's getting to me. I've got three or four little bits of cut bait left. The fish on a big rod and I've got two prawns left. The fish on a little rod. So I'll fish that out for maybe another... Another half an hour. And then we'll call it a day. But yeah, I'm happy with that. That's the Noah group. It was them who sent me this tape measure for measuring sharks with. Yeah. N O A A, Noah. Cooperative Shark Tagging Programme. Is it a good day, was it? Big, small, what? Yeah. Did you have a good day? No, it's not, it's a barracuda. Holy smokes. No, it's not, it's a barracuda. Holy smokes. Quick, quick, come here. Barracuda. Get a drop net. The size of it. <laughs> Holy crap. 
That is a that is a, a massive barracuda. <laughs> I think it's out the water. Can you come over here Right. When it hit, honestly, I thought it was a tarpon. Because as soon as it hit, it ran and then jumped clean out the water. And I just saw like a big splash jump clean out the water. And then just, just ran all over the place, all over. And it wasn't until it was right at my feet, I saw it was a barracuda. And it's just a miracle. I managed to get it close to me and play it out, like right in front of me, because it, it could have gone anywhere else. Oh, I'm sweating, am I? Yeah. Grey was not yeah. the colour choice. Luckily enough, I could walk us straight down here to get the drop net. Because them teeth, when I, when I show you them teeth there, are just absolutely hideous. You can see them from here. But that is a... That's the best part of a, like a 30 pound barracuda. It's just incredible. James. It's terrifying. <laughs> it is terrifying. Look at them teeth. That was plenty close enough, thanks. <laughs> Just needs. He's just in shock. <laughs> Wait, the water's so warm as well. Yeah. He's good here, James. About, well, we're talking about the size of the barracuda we've been seeing. We've only been seeing them and have been like, what? Like a toothbrush. <laughs> yeah, like, like about 12 inches long. It's thin on here as well. Is it a go? It's starting to fight against me. Oh, yeah. <laughs> One last cast. That was literally that was my last bait. 45 inch barcode. I don't know. I don't know what footage you managed to get because I, I actually had to, I had to walk it down to the accommodation and Hannah had to help me with the drop net to get that fish in because it was an absolute monster. I honestly, when it first struck and it jumped out of the water, I thought it was a tarpon. And it wasn't until I got it close I realised it was like a monster barracuda. 45 inch barracuda. I mean, the weight on it, it was a good 20 pound plus. I, I, I yeah. <laughs> One last cast. Uh, I did, I did my very best. I was a little bit cautious about going in the water to release it, not only because it was a barracuda, but because the shark's in there as well. I hope you enjoyed joining me. All the very best. See you later.